Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from exudeautomation.com and welcome to part 9 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video we're talking about working with generics. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Generics. In languages like C Sharp and Java, one of the main tools in the toolbox for creating reusable component is generics. That is, being able to create a component that can work for a variety of type rather than a single one. This allows user to consume these component and use their own types. Again guys, the generics in TypeScript is also pretty much similar like C Sharp and Java. So there is no change in here, right? So the declaration of generics or the declaration of the non-generics code that we have seen before is going to look something like this. You can see that we have a student list array and we have uh, a student info interface and we are just creating the interface of type array and then we were able to manipulate the same operation as you can see here. Instead of the any type, we have had a student info array type, right? But it generics for creating a student info array, we can use the generic syntax, something like this. You can see that we have a student's list G, which is for generics. And then we are creating a array of student info type. And then that's it. So here you can see there is a less than and greater than symbol for the arrays, right? Which is generic. Again, it is pretty much same like the syntax of C Sharp and Java. So let's quickly see a demo and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. So this is the same code that we have been working so long from our previous videos. So what I'm going to do basically is, as you can see here, the student info array that we had before. It is of type student info, which is nothing but the interface that you can see here, right? But actually, instead of doing something like a student info of array this, we can make this as generic so that even if tomorrow we have one more interface, something like student info additional with uh, the same kind of information over here with some additional information like his email address and which grade he has passed or something like that, you just have to pass in that particular type and this particular list will automatically turn into that particular interface. So we can easily do using what is called as generics here. So I'm just going to copy this piece of code and I'm going to put it over here. Instead of the student lists, I'm going to make it student lists G and you can see that I'm going to remove this particular array and I'm going to use the array interface which is available within TypeScript. I'm going to call that and then I'm going to use this generic syntax. That's it, right? That's the only simple change. Other than that, our code is pretty compatible with whatever we have written before as well, right? So what I'm going to do is let's say this get student list function that you have seen over here. I'm just going to copy this maybe and I'm just going to come all the way down to here for maybe generics, we can just create something like this, right? So I'm just going to paste it over here. Get student lists of uh, list of generics, and instead of students info this time, I'm going to make this as an array of uh, students info. Right? And this reminds the same code. So there is no change at all. And you can see that intelligence will still work even if you try to remove this and hit dot. You can see the age is coming. Right? Just cool. That's it. And now if you run this particular piece of code, it works like charm. So you can just do there we go. And then students list G. Save it. And now if I try to run this particular piece of code, you can see that we are getting the arrays here, right? We are just getting two values here because we have not pushed additional value, which is for, I guess it's for uh, the student Karthik. It's not pushed only Prashant and Sri, 
is sitting over here, right? So this is how you can work with generics. Basically, I just want to showcase you the idea of how to work with generics. Very, very simple generics here. It is pretty much same like C Sharp and Java. There is no change in TypeScript at all. And now if you go back to the app.js file, and if you come all the way down, you can see that the generics keyword of the array is completely not here. You can see this again passing in the students as a parameter of type any. So all these arrays and generics thing, all these are just for TypeScript. It is nothing to do with your JS because JavaScript even don't know what is generics. So it is something which is very, very specific for TypeScript. So TypeScript is making our life much easier to be even more intuitive and it is like whatever knowledge you have in other programming language, you can use it over here and you can leverage that particular power in TypeScript and TypeScript will take care of all the heavy lifting to convert that into its equivalent ECMAScript target, right? So all these things are happening without any effort from your side, right? So this is how everything is working. And this is what it is, guys. This is what the generics is all about. So from our next video onwards, we are going to segregate all these cores. We're going to move this interface to another file and this, this uh, classes to another file. And we are trying to work with the modules so that we can make this code even more neat, right? So that's it, guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.